Okay. We're good to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, great to see you. It's, it's what fun to have. I've always been a sort of fan of Disney and Pixar and all the sort of history of everything lumped together and visited both of them over in yeah. California, which has been immense. So what's it been like for you two getting involved in this, which is a Disney film, but obviously with Pixar heritage. Right. Right. Maybe let's explain that mix. Yeah, it, it was a lot of fun and clearly a big challenge. You know, uh, as I had said before, you know, the Cars world is very much John Lasseter's baby. And it was like, in so many ways, him handing over a newborn child to Tracy and I to take care of and to raise. So, you know, there was a lot of challenges to go with that. But what's great about working with John is he's so inspirational and, and he's so helpful and, and like a, you know, a loving, kind mentor in so many ways. It was really just him sort of supporting us as we were, you know, as we moved for, mm -hmm. forward finding out you know how this story was going to work and how to break it. It's it is that kind of that the blossoming of that relationship, isn't it? In terms of the two companies mm -hmm. coming together. Mm -hmm. So how how was it careful? Or how how much was it a joy? The fact that you could bring elements of both these worlds together. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a total joy. I yeah. mean, how privileged were we to get to work on this world of cars? Right. It's it's a fantastic experience all the way through. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the question is how much you take from it in terms of referencing it. Oh yeah, yeah about. You know, we were so lucky that there were 10 years of, you know, Pixar's experience going through Cars 1 and Cars 2. And we got to draft off all of that as we set up, excuse me, as there's a bug in my face. <laughs> yeah. So we got to draft off 10 years of uh, Pixar's experience for Cars 1 and 2 as we set up this whole new world of planes. They had a lot of experience and they'd set up the rules for the world, like truth and materials and the way the characters move and you know, where you typically see their eyes and their mouths. So it was fantastic to have that starting point. Yeah. And but that being said, what, what's also great about I think where we ended up with is that although they had the rules and they set up the world, planes is completely different mm -hmm. than cars. You know, cars are on the ground. And this isn't saying that cars are simple. It's just the difference in the challenges that we faced. Cars is on the ground. Their wheels are more or less cemented to the ground. They have big windshields. They have big grills, lips, you know, for the bumpers and stuff. All of a sudden we have big wings in the way. We have narrow little canopies for our eye shapes. Mm -hmm. We have propellers and nose cones in the way, and our mouths tend to be on the bottom almost like a shark kind of thing. So it added a lot of different challenges as far as how we got into, you know, pose, and pose the characters together for two and three shots, figure out how a pleasing camera angle with all those extra challenges in there. So it was great to get all that information and then basically move forward in a whole new world. Right. And we had to figure out how to take it off the ground. Right, which was a whole other thing. Yeah. yeah, there's a whole lot of different things to play with, isn't there, in terms of big challenges, technical challenges. I big time. 